Howdy folks, Troy with V-Twins to V-8s. I'm here today to do a video with you with my 67 charger here on um, auxiliary vacuum pumps. Um, you say, what is an auxiliary vacuum pump and why do I need it? Well, if you install a radical engine with a radical cam, chances are it didn't make it doesn't make much um, intake vacuum. Intake vacuum is used to run your vacuum advance, but more importantly, it's used to run your um, vacuum brake booster. What'll happen is your brakes are going to be really hard, and you're not going to have the braking power that you need. I'm sure that a lot of you guys have experienced this. This particular car has a 383 wedge engine in it which has got a pretty healthy cam in it. And the problem that I'm having is, is I make about 10 inches of vacuum. Uh, typically, a vacuum brake booster requires about 14 inches to even, you know, remotely work. So I'm not even close. So what I did was I did a little bit of research and I purchased a vacuum pump, a piston style vacuum pump whereas it uses an electric motor and like a reciprocating piston like a small engine more or less to create the vacuum now the problem that I had with that is when I installed that in the car and then I tested the vacuum I was only making about 18 inches of vacuum which is a huge improvement from my 10 inches of vacuum but I mean it was supposed to make 21 it never really got there the other thing is is it had a remote cutoff switch that shut the engine shut that little compressor off shouldn't say compressor vacuum pump off uh, once it achieved its 21 inches so basically it never really shut off so you turn the key on the vacuum pump comes on it makes this rattly kind of sound kind of like your father's Buick that had the you know air ride in the back when you put a bunch of stuff in the trunk it made a little rattly noise and it raised back up not really an attractive sound for a car like this if you're at like a cruise night or something like that so I did a little bit more research and I found this company called lead brakes and they make a rotary vein style pump which works like uh, like an air tool in other words, um, it spins, it's got little blades in it, almost like a fan, and that's how it makes its vacuum. It's quiet, it's quicker, it's all self-contained in a round vacuum canister that has all the relays, the pressure switch, everything is inside. You just put power to it, and it, it'll run until it achieves about 26 inches of vacuum, and then it shuts off, which is great. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you what I have, what it sounds like, the vacuum that I'm making, and then we're going to put the lead pump in, and then I'll show you what I have and, the, and what I'm making for vacuum then. And um, you can kind of see and compare. Hopefully you'll be able to get to this video before you buy a piston style pump and you just buy spend the extra money by the rotary style pump okay so here we are with our vacuum pump running this is our vacuum gauge we're getting about 18 inches of vacuum and it just pretty much sits there it'll run and run and run it won't make any more than that this is my existing setup inside the wheelhouse actually i'll pan back so you can see what's going on so this is the wheelhouse of my charger and uh, you can kind of see this is the setup that that I built for it so this is a storage container here you know a vacuum can and then this is my piston style pump that you know it vibrates it doesn't really make that much enough vacuum it also has a relay up here that I had to wire in and a switch right here that's supposed to shut the pump off when it gets to a certain level my vacuum never really seems to get to the level that it takes to shut it off and um, I didn't really like that either so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of this out and we're gonna replace it with our other pump okay so here we are I took my pump that I had bolted here I got that out I had this whole relay set up over in here that I won't need anymore so I'll be able to this is my power wire I can tap my other piece into it and then I can use this other area here as just a ground because my new pump is all self-contained so as you can see here I've got my pump that I took out you see how big it is 
and then it's got this set of wires that goes to this relay and then from the relay to the power and then the trigger of the relay is a switch that's in the hose so here we have our new pump it's uh, called the Black Bandit for whatever reason, but it's made by a company called Lead Leads Lead Brakes, and uh, this is the whole unit here. It's self-contained. If you looked at the outside of this box, it kind of shows you everything comes inside of this canister, and all I need to do is run my power wire plug to hot and to ground and then this self-contained unit is supposed to take care of everything we're gonna uh, get that fitted in there and and then we'll see how it goes okay folks so here we are I'm inside my fender well here I don't know how well you can see this I'll maneuver a light in here so that you can see um, you'll see this is my uh, electric cutoff solenoid for my ignition so I can kill the battery this to the left here this canister is the actual um, pump with the electronics and the shutoff and everything enclosed there's my line that comes up and over it comes down and it comes to this other can this is just a storage can for the vacuum and then the line will run it runs up it runs along the fender wall and then down and then over here and then it'll run it runs up into the um into the engine compartment into the brake booster so i'm going to bring you up top i'll show you the top okay so here is my uh vacuum gauge attached to my line i just took the line off of the brake booster so i could put in a vacuum gauge so i could see exactly uh, what it is that we are producing for vacuum so i'm at zero now i'm going to go and turn on the key which will activate the pump and then we'll uh we'll take a look and we'll see what we have There you go. So now we're sitting right on 25 pounds of vacuum, 25 inches of vacuum. It's quiet as a mouse. There's no, uh, the vacuum pump's not running. It is leaking a little bit of vacuum right now. Probably because I've only guess got the gauge stuck in the end. That's a far cry from the nine inches I had with the cam in this car. All right, folks, so there you have it. The lead pump's installed. You see the vacuum it makes. I'm gonna get out do some road testing, make sure everything's all set, but there really isn't a lot to it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could, subscribe or like the video. Make any comments that you'd like, whether good or bad. I've got kind of thick skin. Um, if you need any help or you have any questions, feel free to message me. I'll do my best to get back to you. I have a lot of other videos on my, uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, so I'm Troy Kane on YouTube, um, vtwins to v8s.com at my website and on Facebook. So feel free to ask me any questions you want and, um, you know, check out my projects. This is one of them. The Camaro behind me is another one. I always got something going on. So uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you very much.